young woman, perimenopausal woman, age 50, four otherwise healthy, presented with a pretty serious breast cancer, um, estrogen receptor positive, very strongly HER2 positive, three plus by IC, grade three disease, nodes positive at presentation in a pretty substantially sized cancer. So that is a, a prognosis that you know definitely is associated with risk. And you're really thinking about utilizing the very best therapies that you had. You know, before the introduction of trastuzumab, her death from breast cancer would have been very high, probably somewhere in excess of 50%, closer probably to 70, 80% chance of um, dying eventually of breast cancer because the recurrences can be late. And then with the introduction of the trastuzumab as um, adjuvant therapy, uh, probably she would be looking more at about an uh, 80% chance of remaining disease-free for long term. With the then introduction of the pertuzumab um, in the overall trial, like the affinity trial, that was further improved, you know, probably up to the 85 plus 88% chance. And then switching then to the TDM1 in the adjuvant setting when she did not have a pathologic complete response, you know, those patients in the Catherine trial, that kind of resets the prognosis because now you know something, which is that she responded to the TCHP, but she did not have a pathologic complete response. So she was still going to be looking at a 20, 25% chance of recurrence uh, with just um, trastuzumab and pertuzumab switching to the TDM1 when she had residual disease, took her from about a um, disease-free survival rate of the mid to high 70%, taking her up to the mid to high 80% chance of remaining disease-free. Unfortunately, that still leaves her with risk. So she does have risk, and she still probably has somewhere between a uh, 10 to 15% residual risk of, of recurrence.